What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Leo coming to you guys with yet another video. Coming to you guys today with who do I think is going to be the one to ultimately defeat Roman Reigns for the championship. Now, Roman Reigns has been holding that championship for over a thousand plus days and is still champion. And I think a lot of fans can agree they're getting tired of Roman Reigns. Not simply because of the reign, it's simply because the guy is not really there often. He's only there a handful of times throughout the year and his his schedule is continuing to get smaller and smaller by the month that goes by so I have five names on my list that I kind of went through I kind of just did a little bit of um, fantasy booking in my mind and kind of going through a little bit of the roster and who I think you know would be great candidates to ultimately defeat Roman Reigns and ultimately why do I think they could be great candidates so we're gonna go with the first one on my list and he's not He's in the WWE, but he's on the injury lift. He's been on the injury lift for quite some time now. But I feel like if he was to ultimately come back, he would instantly be able to get one of the biggest pops for sure. And that's being none other than the New Day member, Big E. Big E has been on the injury list since 2022, you guys. That's crazy to think. It's been over a year, almost two years now, that we since we've last seen Big E compete in the WWE ring. Now, this would be a great way to bring him back because Tampa, Florida is where the Royal Rumble is going to be held very, very soon in our ne for our next pay-per-view or play for, uh, premium live event, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to just keep calling pay-per-views, guys. I just, I just can't sit back and call it premium live events. I just can't do it. I can't. But I do think he would easily get one of the biggest pops of, his night, of the night for sure because the Royal Rumble is in his hometown. So you know he's going to get a big pop. Like, come on now. And if he were to win the Rare Rumble, first of all, it would be a shock because nobody would be expecting, of, especially with how stacked the, the roster is right now. We got people like Cody Rhodes, LA Knight, CM Punk, Randy Orton, Jay Uso, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens. Like, the list goes on and on. Like, you have very stacked talent right now, and it's only going to continue to get more stacked right now. And I think someone like Big E will will serve as a shocking factor because people wouldn't be expecting it, but people wouldn't be upset at it. So having him win, then he can choose whether he's going to go after Roman Reigns or Seth Rollins because Seth Rollins is the current World Heavyweight Champion, and there is history between him and Seth Rollins because uh, Seth Rollins was the inaugural NXT Champion, and B was the guy to defeat um, Seth Rollins become the second NXT champion. He can do that again if he wanted to go after the World Championship, but we're going to stickly straight to Roman Reigns. Now, they also have history because they they have a match. They had a match in 2021 when it was champion versus champion. Biggie was the WWE champion, and Roman Reigns was the Universal champion. Right before this happened, right before the titles were unified, when Brock ultimately got the title. And the, uh, another thing for, for Big E, he never did get a rematch for that championship. So this is another way to possibly set up him getting his rematch for that championship. Now, here's another thing. If you were to have Big E go up against Roman Reigns, you know Big E is going to have to go up against Roman Reigns. And Roman Reigns is going to have help on his side. And Big E has a way to counter that because he does have Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day to help him as backup going up against Roman because you know if he's going up against Roman he's going to have to deal with Solo he's going to have to deal with Jimmy he's going to have to deal with um Paul Heyman but he at least going to have some type of backup to help him counter to help his odds and chances of walking out with the championship now Biggie is simply one of the most talented that they do have and it sucks that he did get injured but think about the different matches we could have seen with him if he were to stay in uh, if you didn't get injured. Him versus Gunther would have been great. Him versus Roman Part 2 could be great, especially with how Roman is right now. Big E could be that guy that could go up against Roman and give him some serious problems. I really do. But comment uh, before I go any further, comment down below, who do you guys want to see beat Roman Reigns? Who do you guys have winning and beating Roman Reigns? My next person that I got to talk about is someone who's faced him before. But I feel like if they were to revisit this feud, I don't think people would be upset whatsoever. And that being Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn was the was part of the bloodline. That was like I feel like when they added Sami Zayn to the bloodline, because at that time the bloodline, in my opinion, was getting very stale. 
because it really felt like there was really no direction. There was no end goal kind of going forward. It was just there. But he added new light to the bloodline and got more people invested into the bloodline and what the bloodline is doing because people are going to be not only tuning in to see when Roman's there, but to see how Sami Zayn plays dividends and how the whole storyline between those two, the whole faction goes going forward with Sami Zayn being the new addition to the faction. And it really helped them in the long run because think about it. It gave them a little bit of comedic release. It kind of helped people see them a little bit more than the heels that they were. And it kind of just gave them a little bit of dimension to the whole faction. You know what I mean? And then the, the story that they were telling between Sami Zayn and Jay Uso for the most of the, the, the feud and the whole storyline. Like, Jay Uso just not wanting Sami Zayn around his family. Like, he wasn't blood, so why he's being part of the bloodline. So, it took time, but we ultimately got where Jay came around to actually trusting Sami. And you had them um, reconcile and become one in War Games last year. So, now... You have them on a cohesive unit where everybody is in agreement. Now, go to the Royal Rumble. You have Kevin Owens and Roman. And then everything that took place with that. And then you had Sami Zayn turn, which got one of the biggest pops of the entire night. And then you set up uh, Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns for um, Elimination Chamber. And that was one of the biggest matches of that night. It easily. People were invested. People wanted to see Sami Zayn be the one to take down Roman Reigns. It did make sense at the time. And honestly, I feel like if you were to amp it up now and you have Sami Zayn and Jey Uso on the same team going up against the bloodline, you have other people in their, in their corner as well, you could see Sami Zayn do it because Sami Zayn is one of those guys that you can't really just sleep on. You, you gotta, you gotta. You can't. You just can't sleep on the guy. The guy is one of those talented that they have on that entire roster right now. And I think a few between those two, if you were to revisit this, I think people would be able to get invested in Sami Zayn again and actually get that that momentum that he had in 2023, early this year, going again. I think he just, once he held those tag titles and they kind of didn't really go anywhere, it kind of lost his momentum just a little bit. But yet, he still gets one of the biggest pops when he comes out on Raw every week. So now, this is a way to kind of get the momentum going again, to get the, the ball rolling again with Sami Zayn, potentially being a main eventer in the WWE. And I do think he does have the tools to be a legit main eventer in the WWE. He when he's when he's motivated and he has the promo skills, he can go. When he he can go in the ring, we've seen it. He has it all, but I think putting him in a position like this could really bring out the best in Sami Zayn and also bring out the best in Roman because you've seen how both of these guys were in their feud early this year going into WrestleMania. So I mean, it can work. But that's my number 4 pick. That's I do think Sami Zayn should be a potential candidate to do it. The next person is also another potential candidate to do so. And that is CM Punk. Now, CM Punk recently teased Roman Reigns on this past week's episode of SmackDown for Tributary the Troops. He literally said, I, I, I could talk about a guy who's not here. I could talk about a guy who's never here. He was throwing shots at Roman. And he also threw shots at Roman by saying, I acknowledge you, but don't forget who's the OG Paul Heyman guy. Before he was your your wise man, he was my advocate. He, I was a Paul Heyman guy. I was the OG Paul Heyman guy in his eyes. That's what he was telling Roman. So now you can have that that dynamic of where if you do this feud, it's a dream match for sure. Because now you can have CM Punk throw even more shots at Roman because he can go back to the Shield days and when they were doing the whole recruitment process. Because originally it was going to be CM Punk recruiting Ambrose, aka John Moxley, Rollins, and it wasn't going to be. Roman Reigns, it was going to be Cassius Ono. So now, or Chris Hero, whatever you want to call him. So now you have that dynamic now of the few are getting more intense because in Punk, he never wanted Roman in his faction. He didn't see Roman as being that guy, but Roman Reigns stuck it to CM Punk and became the biggest draw that there is to be in the WWE and one of the biggest stars in the WWE as a, as a whole. So now, what do you have? You have... CM Punk, and you also have Roman Reigns having their feud, but also it adds a little bit more because where will Paul Heyman lie? Where will his his um, his truth lie? Where will his loyalty lie? Where will he will he keep 
his loyalty to Roman Reigns and being the special counsel for Roman Reigns? Or will he show his allegiance towards CM Punk for going back to their history? We, they both had long reigns as champions. Because <clears throat> Roman Reigns has been champion for over a thousand days, and Paul Heyman's been with him for the entirety of that. Same thing with CM Punk. They were he was WWE champion for four hundred thirty four days, and and honestly, Paul Heyman was he was there for that as well. So you have two stars who've had long reigns in the WWE going at it one on one. Who is ultimately the better champion? Who is ultimately going to be the better champion coming out of their encounter? And I do think they they already said they plan on setting this match up for post WrestleMania, possibly going into SummerSlam next year. And honestly, I don't think this title, this match really needs a title to, to happen. I think you can really settle with this being a non-title feud and just going off of the history that these two have going going for each other. So I think that is a, a way to do it. And I think CM Punk, he's potentially going to be a candidate to win that Royal Rumble now that he's back. I think he could go up against Roman Reigns. But I, honestly, I feel like... He, it's already set in stone what he's going to be doing with everything he's been teasing with Seth Rollins and then everything like that. So we would just have to see, but I do think he is a candidate to do so. The next person we got to talk about is someone who's faced them before, and that is Jay Uso. Now, Jay Uso is a guy that I feel like he's just there. He he has the tools to beat Roman, and on, unlike a lot of these guys that's on this list, he's beaten Roman Reigns. He's pinned Roman Reigns reigns in the middle of the ring he's done it nobody else on this list that i'm about to talk about has been able to do that he has beaten roman reigns like he's been in so many positions where he's had roman reigns beat but something always happens you could even have him win the royal rumble i think people would love it and, and also they just brought back um his catchphrase yeet that was supposed to be a done deal it was supposed to have been done but now they brought it back People are loving that. So I think this could be a star-making moment for him because people call him main event Jay Uso. They call him main event Jay Uso. What better way to, to really stamp that home by having him win the Royal Rumble and main event WrestleMania again? But this time, unlike he did with the with the, with his brother for the tag titles against Sammy and Kevin, he's going up against Roman Reigns to finally put... A nail in the coffin. And in this feud going into WrestleMania, you could start teasing a lot of stuff, a lot of different moving parts, especially with Solo. Where will he lie? Will he, like, he can say some stuff about Roman Reigns that he may have said about Solo to kind of drive a wedge. And it could ultimately leave with Solo leaving Roman Reigns, allowing Roman Reigns to be by himself and him going to be in a position to where he can easy for the picking. This right here, once Roman Reigns is by himself, I'm telling you guys now, once he is by himself, he is going to be in a very vulnerable state for somebody to come along and take that title. Because the only reason why he's been champion is simply because of the bloodline. He would have lost to Cody if it wasn't for Solo. He would have lost to, to Jay if it wasn't for Jimmy. Like, a lot of these matches, he would have lost if somebody didn't pay dividend for him. So, you got to think, when he when he does lose Solo, what is it, what is it going to look like for him? What is his future going to look like, his champion going to look like? It's not going to be looking too promising, that's for sure. So, I do think Jey Uso could win the Royal Rumble. Or, if you want, you can have him win Money in the Bank. Have him win Money in the Bank. I think some people would love to see that. And he's never really competed in Money in the Bank. But I think that guy being in Money in the Bank and winning it? You're talking about different... I know we have different themes. I know we have the Summer of Punk. But the Summer of Jey Uso? You tell me people wouldn't, wouldn't buy into that? I would. Summer of Jey Uso? Sign me up. Jey Uso is number two. And the final person we're going to talk about is uh, Cody Rhodes. In other words of hear these thoughts, he calls him the Super Saiyan Pastor. Pretty much that's the shout out to you, us, hear these thoughts. That, that, that right there, that little joke always gets me every time. Him calling him the Super Saiyan Pastor gets me every time. I crack. I started, I'd crack under the first shot. If you were to do a compilation doing that, I would fail instantly. But we're, we're going to still talk about Cody. I think that is just the most logical guy to do it right there. I think that is the obvious pick to do it. You had him come so close to winning last year, only get screwed out of the championship, then go on a year later to do it. I don't know if he wins the Rumble, but there's another pay-per-view right after it called Elimination Chamber. 
if Cody is not able to win it, he could enter the Elimination Chamber, and there could be a story where Roman is trying to keep him from that championship by putting obstacles in his path to make sure he doesn't. You can put Solo in the Elimination Chamber. You can put Jimmy in the Elimination Chamber. Two people he's going to have problems with because both of those guys caused him the championship and played a factor into why he didn't walk away with the championship. So now, that's a story that you can go have going into Elimination Chamber. And he does, and Cody does win the Chamber. Now you're setting up the rematch, part two, for WrestleMania, whichever night they do it. More likely it's going to be night, night two. But... Still, this is the most logical pick, in my opinion, to ultimately be the one to defeat Roman Reigns. I, it just, it writes itself, man. It writes itself. There, like, I don't really need to say too much. It pretty much writes itself. But that is the end of this video, you guys. Make sure you super kick that like button, Superman punch that post notification bell, and spear that subscribe button. We're on the road to 750 subscribers. Uh, comment down below. Let me know. Who do you guys want to see defeat Roman Reigns? If they weren't on this list or if they were on this list, comment down below. Let me. I want to know what you guys have to say. I want to hear your opinion. Sound off in the comment section down below. But I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next video.